Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. I'm gonna start my day with showing you a little trick that I taught Toothless. Come on, Toothless, let's go. Come on, let's go, let's go. Come on, 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 come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. up all the way up. <laughs> I tell you, I love this animal so much. It is absolutely incredible. And it'll do just about anything for food. And I think that that's what makes this thing so incredible. Of course, one day he's going to get as big as Elvis is. So now we're just going to kind of get him to climb back down. Come on, dude. Let's, let's go. Come on. You can go, 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 go. Come on. Come on. You want to go all the way up? Ah. Um, 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 um. <laughs> Isn't that the most awesome thing in the world? I mean, to have a little dino. And it's, it's just interesting when I think about what you can train these reptiles to do. I mean, two or three years ago, I could have never imagined being able to have a little dinosaur like Toothless here that would literally just climb up your leg and get to food like that. I mean, he is just absolutely incredible. And we've been, again, laser training him. So he follows a laser, ball training him. And he's pretty food motivated. And he finally has gotten to that age where he's really turning on. And that's the thing about reptiles is typically as long as you can reward them with food they can almost do anything that you want them to do I mean we're just getting started when it comes to training come on guys let's go come on monkeys here you go come here there you go sweetheart Diddy you want something Diddy here come on Dixie come on up up Dixie up all the way up come here Dip, Dip. Come on. There you go, sweetheart. Again, it's just crazy how unbelievably trained these animals can get just with a little bit of kind of time and energy. And like I had mentioned, I really didn't realize that reptiles had the ability to be trained on the level that they actually can. And to be honest with you, we've been so busy this last little bit that we have kind of stalled some of our kind of plans for training. We want to do a lot more stuff, but we're bringing on another keeper here at the Reptarium, and they'll free myself and Bruce up a little bit more to work on training. I wonder if you guys think anything down in the comments. So what could these animals do? What would you want to see us kind of work on? You know, obviously we can get them to climb up us, we can get them to follow us, we can get clicker training. You know, obviously with salt, we train her to stay still, the alligator. RJ has been great with training, but, uh, but I think we could take it to the next level. And I keep on thinking like, how can we change people's perception? I mean, we already are doing that with so many of the things just like these guys here, these cute little monkeys right here. But you know, there's so much more that we can do. And I'm wondering if you guys have any ideas for me that we can work on a specific animal, say Elvis or Toothless or, or you know, who knows? You know, again, we're working on baby Kush, you know, even some snake stuff. And you know, we've been doing some target training with snakes. I mean, I just have to believe that we can continue to push that envelope. And that's one of the big initiatives, like as life is slowly kind of calming down here towards the end of the year, right? Where we get all these projects done and we can finally uh, spend some time back with the animals training. I want next year to do some crazy stuff and really take reptile training to the next level because I get so much enjoyment out of seeing these guys like this. I mean, absolutely wonderful the relationship that you can build. And Diddy over here, he's so smart. He knows I've got the, the super rooms hiding behind my back, so he tried to sneak up on me. <laughs> and again, you guys know that we clicker train these guys to go back in their cage. Let's go. Come on, guys. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Let's go. There you go, guys. Absolutely amazing. I tell you what, guys, this merch right here is so hot. And you can get it in different colors, as well as, you know, the fact that it's fall time. So if you want a hoodie, also we have Diddy and Dixie. Uh, I think you guys will love it. If you want a coffee mug, you want a sticker, you can get that too. Link is down in the description, so go ahead and get you some. It's going to be a limited time, guys. So if you want your salt and pepper, Diddy, Dixie, whatever you want, go ahead and get it. I appreciate your support.
And so now you can really start to see what this place is gonna look like. Again, this entire room here that's filled with all the tools and junk is gonna be cleaned out. This will be the sitting area with the TVs up on the wall over here. There'll be a bunch of couches and a bunch of really cool stuff, some fish tanks, something like that. The doorway in here will be the colubrid room. Again, this will all have you know, rows of colubrids. Everything else will be out of here. You can kind of walk through back here. Again, this will all be the colubrid room all the way to here. Again, racks hooked you together. And then you walk into the new Caledonia room where all these racks are out of here. And then of course the doorway back into the hallway over here. So now you start to get an idea again of the hallway out here into the sitting room area. We've got the control room over here. So now you're starting to really get an idea of what this place is gonna look like. Uh, still have some work to do, but uh, it's kind of coming together. You guys may not know, but I'm into the whole mind-body thing. You know, that's why I go to the gym. That's why I have a sauna sitting behind me. That's why I uh, basically just believe in kind of, you know, health, overall health, trying to get my mental health ready by also getting my physical health ready. So today we have another thing to add to our addition to our sauna. Hey, you let the hot air out. Oh, it is hot in there. So what could be in this big box? We'll find out, I know it's gonna be heavy. So there it is guys, cold tub. <laughs> so, so basically what it is, is for those of you guys who don't know, the best therapy is to go like hot, cold, hot, cold. It just reduces inflammation. Uh, plus there's uh, obviously just a lot of cold therapy. So this is literally just a one person cold tub. So we could do our sauna over here, go in, get a little cold dip, goes out to 42 degrees. It's a little chilly out here, I'm not gonna lie, but it's gonna be good for you. So there it is, got the Reptarium logo on it. I tell you what, loving it, man, again. Mind, body, health is what it's all about. Well, I tell you what, all I need is a little bit of cold water and uh, I will be freezing my butt off. Can you imagine the snow coming down, me in here in my ice tub? Oh, better be good for me. With that being said, love this thing. Let's get back to the shop. You guys ready for a cool egg cutting? This is actually a lemon blast orange drink. You guys know that I wanna get deeper into the orange drink stuff. And it was bred to two males, a pastavi orange drink. So if that is the male that actually fathered the clutch, we can produce all kinds of like super pastel, super orange drink, pin stripes and Mojaves, all kinds of combinations. But it was also bred to a pin red stripe yellow belly, which I think would be pretty cool because I've never seen the red stripe and orange drink together. I'm sure that people have produced it. I just haven't personally seen it. So I'm interested to see how they combine together, regardless of who the dad is, it's gonna be an absolute banger of a collection. So what do you say we jump into egg number one and see what we've got? And right off the rip, we should be able to get a pretty good understanding of who the dad is and what it looks like here. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to because it looks like a normal pinstripe. This could be a pinstripe orange dream, but unfortunately, uh, that didn't help us at all. I thought for sure the first one would be like, okay, well, we at least know who the dad is. Unfortunately, it's literally a pinstripe. It does look like it's a pinstripe orange dream to me though, because it's a little bit brighter and a little bit cleaner. So that's probably what it is. We have two, four, six more eggs to figure out who the dad is and hopefully produce some banger baby. But let's see if we can get a little closer to the, the answers here today. Let's see what we got. Hmm. Another pinstripe of all things. Two in a row, weirdly enough. But again, very, very clean. As a matter of fact, that's definitely a pinstripe orange dream. I mean, you can definitely see the orange isn't super bright yet, but it's gonna probably brighten up as it gets a little bit of size to it. But the cleanliness tells me it's definitely that. But so far, we don't know who the dad is because I don't see any red stripe, I don't see any yellow belly, I don't see any Mojave, so I'm not sure yet. So let's just keep on going. Definitely would like to produce something that I can actually see. Oh, here we go. Ooh, wait a second. Wow. Okay, this is beautiful. Wow, that is gorgeous. So I think, if I'm not mistaken, this would be a lemon blast, which is a pastel, a pinstripe, a red stripe, and a yellow belly. So I think that this is a lemon blast, red stripe, yellow belly, and an orange dream. So if this is the case in the pinstripe, red stripe, yellow belly was the dad, which it looks to be in this one, this would be the all gene animal because it carries all of them. And that thing is 
Beautiful. Wow, I cannot wait till this thing hatches out and actually see what it looks like. But again, we could have dual father clutches too. So that Pastavi Orange Dream could potentially be the father too, but we have four eggs to go. But I was super happy that we had that last baby because that thing is gorgeous. What do we have here? Another Orange Dream for sure. And this one is, uh, ooh, it's so hard to tell what it is. It's definitely a pinstripe. This might be a pinstripe, red stripe, orange dream. Doesn't look like a yellow belly. Definitely doesn't look like a pastel. But it's got really clean, reduced patterns. So we'll see when that one hatches out. Three more eggs. All right, here we go. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? All right. Ooh, this is interesting. All right, so this is actually a lemon blast. And it looks like a lemon blast red stripe, actually. Doesn't look like there's any orange dream in this one. Again, that orange dream really cleans things up. So even when you don't see that bright orange color right off the bat, you'll see like real cleanliness. This one just looks like a lemon blast red stripe. It could potentially be a lemon blast red stripe yellow belly because it does have a lot of broken up pattern as well. So that tells me there might be yellow belly in there. We'll see when it hatches out. Two more eggs. All right, what do we have? This one's upside down, so I don't know what it is. Interesting, interesting. This is actually a Pastavi Orange Dream. So now we definitely do have a dual father clutch. So we know that now we have the Pastavi at least got this one egg, right? We don't know about the other ones because there was no Mojave in anything else and it didn't look like there's any Super Orange Dream in anything else either. So at least one egg, maybe the last egg will be a Super Orange Dream something, right? So let's go ahead and see what we got. And that's how it goes, you know, dual fathers are not that unusual. And what do we have? Oh, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Guys, this is beautiful. This is definitely looks like a super orange dream. And it looks like a pastavi. Wow, I don't know exactly. This is definitely a pastavi super orange dream. I guess that's all it is, is a pastavi super orange dream. Wow, that thing is beautiful. It's amazing how much that super orange dream reduces the pattern of the pastavi. Wow, so that's really interesting. We kind of got the best of both worlds, right? We got the all gene animal when it came to the lemon blast, red stripe, orange dream, yellow belly. And then we got almost all the genes when it came to the Pastavi super orange dream. We just missed the pinstripe on that one, but nevertheless, wow, I love it. I love the fact that we had two fathers. We had a variety of animals, a lot of really cool stuff, and it adds to my orange dream colony. So that was pretty freaking awesome. It is exciting to have all these projects up in the air, but also exciting to have them coming to an end so we can focus back on training animals like we had done so much so. So we want to do, we want to take it to the next level. If you guys did enjoy this video, here's a couple videos you can watch in this playlist right here of us doing cool stuff with animals. Also, could you do me a favor? Subscribe to my podcast channel right up here. It's called Checking In on this side. I hope that you're subscribed to this channel. Turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.